Hey everyone, Rob here. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact script I use for a 15 minute discovery call. So this is the special secret call that I do with potential clients that help them in the end become actual clients. And I have done this call a thousand times now and really got it down to a fine art about exactly what I should say, when I should say it, and how I can get the best chances of actually converting this person I'm speaking to into a potential client. And I'm gonna share that with you in this video today. So here's some actual secrets for you. When you were speaking to a potential client online and you're maybe talking to them in like the messenger and you're trying to get them onto a call, the best thing for you to do is to actually go with a 15 minute discovery call first before you go for the sales call. And the reason why is if you go for the sales call straight away, people don't wanna to commit to something which is so long. So what you do is you do the 15 minute discovery call, which helps you get your foot in the door with them, helps you qualify them quickly and see if you can potentially actually even stand a chance of actually selling to them. One of the big reasons why you should do this 15 minute call first is because the long call takes a lot out of you. You could end up speaking to someone for literally an hour right? And like, they're never going to buy. And if you would just done a shorter call, you could have quickly established this with them first. And also they are more likely to agree to this foot in door kind of technique. So this is the order about what you should be doing, whether this is Facebook, you're speaking to people on Instagram, whatever, you should be messaging them in the messenger. And if you find that they are actually a good fit, you can then invite them to a 15 minute discovery call to qualify them. And then if they're a good fit there, you can actually invite them to the full length sales call, which actually is where you sell them, is where you, you know, tell them about what you're offering. So let's look at the actual call script that I use in the 15 minute call. And it's here, and let me walk you through it. So my only objective on this call is not to sell to the person. It's to save me time, in the long run and to make sure I am qualifying them properly. And what I do is I do this by establishing if there is a gap between where they are right now to where they want to go. And if there is a gap between where they are right now and to where they want to go, their goals, I see if they have any challenges which I can potentially solve and helping them get there. So let's see how this is going. I phone them up, I say to them, hey, can I speak to blah, 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 please? And they'll be like, hey, it's blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I'll be like, it's Rob off LinkedIn. We spoke the other day. How's your week going? Oh, they're like, great, you know, I've been waiting for your call. And what I do is I take control of the call straight away and I say, this is just a 10 minute call for me to say hi and to hear a little bit more about your situation to see if I can actually help. Then if I can help, it might be worth setting up a longer call between us so we can talk in more detail. And I do this so I've pretty much set the outline of the session already. They know that I've not called to have a 30 minute chat with them about nothing. I've called to specifically ask them about their problems, to specifically ask them about where I could potentially help, to see if we're a good fit. And I'm honest and authentic about it, and people like that, because I've told them exactly what I'm going to do, and I stick to it. So I then say to them, so we spoke a little bit on LinkedIn, or if you're using Instagram, or if you're using Facebook, whatever platform, we spoke a little bit on here. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about what's going on in your situation? And at this point, they'll usually be like, they'll give you like a background. They'll be like, well, I'm blah, blah, blah. And I've, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm currently at this stage of my business at the moment. I'm currently trying to do these things right now. Um, and then they'll say these things. And it's just me under, getting like a, a brief outline of their situation. So establishing where they are right now. I'll then say, okay, and so what do you want the future to look like with blah, 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 whatever, whatever the topic is, right? Whether you're helping them with their business, whether you're helping them with their fat loss, um, whether you're helping them, I don't know, with like life coaching, whatever, something like that. And I'll say, where do, what do you want the future to look like? And they'll say, well, I'm kind of hoping that um, blah, blah, blah. They'll tell me where they want to go. They'll tell me like where they want to go in the future in the next 12 months. So now I've established where they are and where they want to go. Now I want to check if there's any actual challenges that they're experiencing. This is one of the most important questions that you can ask. 
I ask, okay, so what is stopping you from getting there at the moment? So what is stopping you to get into your desired situation now, to your goal situation? And the reason I ask this specific question, I've not actually seen this in any other call scripts, is because it tells me how open a person is to learning and how like far along the process they are. Sometimes I will speak with a person on the line and they will be completely open that, well, I just don't know what to do. Well, I just don't know how to get there. Well, I just don't know what to do next, right? Easy to work with. Occasionally though, I'll speak with a person and they'll be like, well, I just really haven't had enough time at the moment. I'm gonna be doing it in the next two weeks. In which case I'm like, let's end the call here. Let's pick up in two weeks time to see if you've actually made any progress on this situation. Another case I'm looking out for is stubborn people. People who believe they have all the answers. People who believe they don't need any help, they're just there for a bit of a chin wag, a bit of a chat. This is actually more common than you'd think. So this comes in the form of, well, I just really haven't done it yet, to be honest with you. I know I can do it. This person is never gonna buy from me if they say something like this. If they say something like, well, you know what, Rob? I'm, um, there's nothing really that's stopping me at the moment. There's an issue there, right? This is starting to ring alarm bells that this person might not be open to help, so I need to explore a little bit further with them. I then check for like concerns for fears as well. And the reason why I check for concerns and for fears is because I wanna make sure I understand like their mentality as well. So I say, ah, I see. If you were gonna be honest, what is your biggest concern or fear about you? health, ambitions, business, goals, income, life at the moment. And the reason why I ask this is because if I can just uncover a little bit, if I have a person on the other end of the line is like, I'm not scared about anything. I'm not concerned about anything. But their business is like completely on fire or like whatever they're trying to do is just not working out well for them. I know instantly I'm gonna have a problem getting this person to admit they have a problem. That's one of the biggest things in business. This is pure sales talk right now. Like one of the biggest things in business is actually getting people to admit they have a problem. Either they're too proud and they don't wanna admit it because it affects their ego, or secondly, they aren't that proud, they just are completely blind to it. And a person who's completely blind to it and in potential denial is gonna be a very hard to sell person. Because what you'll find is on the sales call, you'll be like, talk about your problems and they'll just go off. They'll talk about something else. And you'll be like, no, no, let's go back to your problems. They'll talk about something else. Because it's not a problem to them. They need like for a significant life event to happen to them before they actually realize it is a problem. So this is actual sales psychology. I actually didn't want to get too deep on sales psychology in this video. I wanted to keep it high level. But I think, you know, I want you guys to be well equipped. And I think like some of these things are very, very important to know. Um, so what I would say is, at this point, we are, if we're happy with them, if we think, you know what, we understand their current situation, we understand where they wanna go, we understand their challenges, and they seem like a person I might be able to help. What I'll do then is I'll pitch them for a call. So this was just a quick call today. We can actually set up a longer session where we can talk more in detail to see if I actually can help you. Because right now I've just heard a little tiny bit, but um, you know, there's probably a lot more to your situation. Shall we set up a longer call to discuss this? Yeah, sure, right? Boom, sales call booked. If they, I think to myself, you know what? I don't think this is the right person for me. A, I can't help them. B, you know, I don't specialize in their challenges. C, maybe they're a bit too stubborn. Um, and I wanna get off the call. I'll be like, you know what? It's been really great speaking to you today. I think that probably this isn't the right thing for you right now. It's been great keeping in touch with you and uh, you know understanding your situation and hearing a little bit about your journey. All right, goodbye. All right, boom, straight like that. Next is a strategy as Grant Cardone says. And if you're speaking to a person that, you know, maybe is a bit too prideful, a bit too stubborn, you know, just get them out there. If, the, if you're speaking to a person who you don't think that is, but you know you can't help them anyway, just do your best to actually offer them some free help, whether it's, you know, sending them some free value and um, referring to them to a person who might actually be able to help, right? So sales is all about giving value, um, but the person on the other end has to be open to potentially receiving that value 
Otherwise, it's just going to fall on deaf ears and you're not actually going to be helping anybody at all, right? So if this person's the right fit, you then literally just book a call with them. You book the call and you say to them, I'm just booking this in my calendar right now. I've entered your email address in there. So you get a notification for it as well. I will send you an email reminder nearer the time just so you don't forget. Are you happy with this? Boom, boom, boom. Yes, move on. Now you just bought your first sales call. So it's as simple as that, guys. Like I say, I've done literally, I think, thousands of these calls right now, actually. These 15-minute call. And they're very easy to handle. You just have to get through like the first three or four. And then here's a script for you right here. Then you start to understand exactly what is going on. You start to understand like right off the bat whether you can help this person or right off the bat whether you can't help this person. And like the more experienced you get, the easier it becomes. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was very insightful for you. Let me know in the comments below if you have any more questions or any more specifics you want to see me talk about. Take care. See you in the next one.